Hi there, welcome to Life Emotion Gym. I'm Jackie, and today we're gonna do a seated strength circuit. So it's all sitting in the chair. I have a couple options of dumbbells. If you have some light dumbbells, you can use those. Sometimes people will use um, a can of soup. A small can is usually a pound, and then the bigger cans are obviously maybe two or three pounds. Um, if you have some ankle weights, you can also use those. You can use them on your legs, but also you can use them with the hands. If you don't have anything, don't worry. You can do this without any weights as well. So we have three circuits. We'll do a light stretch to start and then three circuits. So we're going to alter between arms and legs and then do a combo move. So we'll do two sets of one exercise, two sets of another, and then we're going to combine them for the third set. Okay. So overall, you'll be getting about 30 reps of each exercise with a little break in between. So let's go ahead, go get yourself set up. You can always pause this and come join me when you're ready. But we're going to do a little stretch for the shoulders and for the legs to kind of loosen up a little bit before we get started. So go ahead, feet flat on the floor. And we're going to bring your left arm all the way across and kind of tuck your right arm underneath and just pull gently towards yourself. You'll feel a stretch through the front of the forearm or front of the shoulder. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. And out. Go ahead and shake it out. Let's try the other side. Right arm comes across the chest. Kind of reach up and over. Pull gently towards you with the other arm. And breathing. Letting out. Any tightness, try to soften the area as you breathe in and let go. From here, drop your arms. Let's do shoulder rolls. Inhale nice and big towards the ears. Exhale, drop them down and back. Inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Let's reverse it all the way back. Up and over and back. Up and over. And relax the arms. Palm out towards me. Reach around with the other hand and gently pull those, the palm or the fingers back towards you so you feel a stretch underneath in the forearm. Drop the fingers and pull back here. So now you'll feel it on top of the forearm. Let's try that on the other side. Roll the wrist a little bit. Shake out the fingers. So palm up, other side, gently pull back. One more breath here. Drop it and a gentle pull here through the forearm. Good, roll that wrist and go ahead and reach arms all the way up and then exhale, sweep them behind you, reach back for the backrest of the chair, roll your shoulder heads down and back and then lean forward gently, look up towards the sky. We're getting a little bit of a chest stretch in here as we breathe in, opening up through the belly and the chest. Breathe out. One more in and out. Go ahead and let everything just relax. Let's bring your left leg out. Come towards the edge of the chair. Pull the toes towards you and just gently lean forward here. Feeling a stretch through the back of the thigh, the back of the knee. And we're breathing in for a few breaths here. Trying to relax and let go of any tension in the back of the leg. Inhale, nice and easy up. And last one on the other side. Again, you're folding forward until you feel that stretch. Pause right there. Inhale. 
and ease on up. All right. I'm going to grab, I have three pounds and five pounds. You can use, again, one pound and two pounds, one pound and three pounds. I'd suggest to have a couple different uh, weight options, though, just so you know. I think I'm going to use my three pounds to start. And we're going to run through each one, like I said, 10 reps. I'll try to have like an average pace. If you can keep up with that, great. If that's hard, that's fine. That just can be a goal to work towards over time. You see how many reps you can get in, and then you'll know kind of where your baseline is. We're going to start with marches. And with the marches, we're going to alternate back and forth, and that'll be one. And then we'll do, we'll keep going up until 10. The next exercise will be a punch forward, punch forward, punch forward, punch forward, 10 of each. And then this is where I like to combine them because it also is a cognitive challenge. So you're going to march on the third set. You're going to march one leg up and punch the opposite. So we'll keep up like we're boxing. We're going to keep our weights up. You're going to lift and punch, lift and punch, opposite arm, opposite leg. That'll be true for all of our combo sets. All right, we're going to spice it up. So when you're ready, we're going to start with our marches. We're tall. We're relaxed through the shoulders. We're going to march it out. Three, two, one. Lift up. Here's one, two. You go as high as you can. Three. If one side doesn't come up as high as the other, that's fine. You're working with what motion you have. We're on five. Six, try to stay nice and tall through the trunk. A lot of times if we're weak, we're going to want to fall back into the chair or round our back. You got two more. So try to stay nice and tall. Try not to compensate too much and pause. So we got our dukes up. We're going to punch out and out. Ready? Here's three, two, and one. Out, pull back, out, pull back. You can match your breath with each punch. A lot of times as you punch out, you want to exhale. This is five. And I may not always be accurate with my counting. Just a heads up. You might catch me a couple times doing one less or one more. So one more each way. I know it'll be okay if we're not exactly right. All right, back to the legs. So we're lifting up. Here's one. March it out. Two. Three. Four. Feel that core engage. Five. Six. These are those muscles we need for walking, for lifting up our feet, going up steps, getting in the car. Let's do a few more. Up. Up, and this is where I'm saying we might be doing one extra here. Last one, and pause. Arms up. We're going into our punches. This is also a little cardio-esque because I'm not giving you too many breaks until the end of the set. So we're punching out, out, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Here's our combo set. So regroup. <clears throat> Think about what we need to do here. Arms are up. We're lifting our left leg, punching with the right, and back down. Lifting opposite arm, punching opposite arm, lifting opposite leg. Okay, so it might take a second. To kind of get going, but that's okay. That means our brains are thinking. Ready for 10? And go. One, two, three, four, five. A little more core challenge, too. Six, seven. You can always be in a chair that has a little more support around it, too. One more each way. 
Good. And relax. Shake out those arms. That's a sneaky one. So you get about 30 seconds to a minute here to recover. You can grab some water if you need to while I demo the next moves. So for the next one, I think I can go a little bit heavier. So I'm going to grab my five pounds. But again, that might be three pounds for you or less or nothing. So we're going to work opposite muscles here. So we're going to work the top of the thighs. And we're going to extend that leg up as far as you can get it straight. Nice and slow. So for these ones, a lot of times we just want to throw them up and let it fall back down. I want you to have like a slow count of maybe one, two, one, two. Like a two to three count. I'll try to pace that for us as we go. Nice and controlled, especially on the way down. And as you go up, pull the toes back towards you. Instead of having them pointed, pull them back. That's just going to strengthen the ankle. And then we're simply going to be doing bicep curls for the second set. And then we'll combine them. Straighten, lift, down. Straighten, lift, and down for our combo. Okay? So two sets, and then we do the last set all together. Ready? We're starting with the legs. And we're going to take it in three, two, one. Lift. Here's one. A little slower for this one. Two. Again, watching the posture. Three. Try not to round the back or fall back into the chair. Four. And we're landing softly, right? Five. And right back to where we started and we're not falling short. Okay, all the way back. That's the other thing that I find at times. Let's do one more after this one, each side. Perfect. Arms come down. Now we're going to do these all together, the bicep curls. If you find that that's too much, you can do alternating. You'll get five reps in of each. But whatever feels good to you. So we're... Going here in three, two, one, curl up. And again, a little slow on the way down with control. Two, your muscles work in both directions. Three, four, again, exhale as you contract. Five more, here's six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. Good job. Relax here. Relax the weights on your thighs when we're not using them. Or you can set them down on the floor. That's okay. But yeah, that way you don't have to keep bending over. Back to the legs. Ready? Inhale. We're zipping up the core. Our posture's good. Shoulders relaxed. And kick up. One. Here's two. Three, here's four, doing good, five, nice and controlled, six, again, going within whatever range of motion you have, one side might be harder than the other, here's eight, nine, one more, 10, good, bicep curls, and hit it, one, two, three, four, five, six, nice and slow on the way down, seven, eight, Nine, one more, 10. All right, so combo time. Remember, we're going opposite arm, opposite leg. So kicking out, curling up. We're gonna do 10 total. Ready? Big inhale, let it out. Here's one, two, Three, 
See if you got it. Four, if all else fails, just focus on one of the movements you prefer, either arms or legs, if it's too much to do it all at once. Six. Seven. Eight. This is one of those times where I feel like I may have added an extra in for us, but it'll be okay. Let's do one more each way. And good. Whew. You can relax there. Put your weights down if you have them. Shake them out. You get another minute here to kind of regroup while I show you the next exercise. Grab some water if you need it. Last set. So this one's going to be a little more movement laterally, similar to our march, but we're going to march like we have an imaginary hurdle here right by our foot. I want you to clear it. So you're going to march over and back, over and back, as big and as high as you can get it to strengthen the outside of the hips. And then we're going to go into, so there's two options. So you can do shoulder raises like this or ceiling punches. But if you have shoulder issues, then I would say, I'm going to show you this version. Okay. All right. So we're going to move those legs up and out to the side. Ready? Here's three, two, and one. Here's out and up. Up and out, what you say. Two. I even like to let my weights rest on top of my thighs. I didn't mention that for the marches, but similar concept. It'll just add a little extra resistance. You're just trying to go as much range of motion as you can. Let's do four more. There's one. You might slide around on the chair a little bit with this one, so that's okay. Three. And four. Okay, arms by our side, thumbs up, and we're going up and nice and easy back down, okay? Ready? Join me here. One. You can have them out at like a little diagonal too if that feels better on the shoulders. Just try not to let those shoulders creep up. Try to keep some space between the shoulders and the ears. About four more. One. Exhaling as you lift. Two. Three. Four. Very good. Those are sneaky on the shoulders there. We're going to go back to the legs. We're lifting on one. Here's one. Two. Again, weights can be on top of the thighs. Kind of get double use out of those weights if you feel like you can do it. Back and forth. Also get a little stretch through the inner thigh with this one too. Let's do about four more here. One. Here's two. Three. And four. Back to the arms by your side, thumbs up, shake them out a second, and join me here. One, two, three. Again, we're just going to shoulder height with the arms parallel to the floor. You don't have to go higher. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, combo time. This one, it, it's just a take. Might take like a little second to kind of get going on this one because we're gonna do arm raise as you lift up and out. So same deal. Opposite arm, opposite leg. 
Okay. Might just hang out at the top a little bit more um, with the weight. So opposite arm, opposite leg, 10 of each, last set. Ready? Okay, here's out and raising the arm. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Two, three, four, Here's five, try to watch that posture. Six. Here's seven. Here's eight. And nine. And 10, nice job. Those ones are sneaky on the shoulders. Feel a little burn there. Shake them out for me a little bit. And again, let's just do some arm swings, a little circles or shoulder rolls here. Whatever feels good. Try some in both directions. And let's increase or increase. Inhale as you raise the arms up, big stretch. And just take it off to one side and look over the shoulder, opening up through the chest and the core where we've done a little bit of work as well through the shoulders a little bit. Inhale through middle. Exhale, try the other side. Coming back through. Inhale, arms up, palms together. Try to keep the palms all the way glued together as you bring them down. Feeling a stretch through the forearms where we did some of that work through the biceps. Breathing in, breathing out. Taking a moment to acknowledge that you showed up, you participated, the hardest part is done, and you accomplished your goal. And see how you feel after today. Again, you can try this class a few different times. You can adjust it by with using different weights. Or, you know, if you had a hard time keeping up with the reps, shooting for little goals along the way. Or maybe you increase the reps. There's different ways to um, try to adapt it to what you need as well, okay? So see how you feel. Good job today. Either way, like I said, the hardest part was showing up and you did that. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'll see you later.